You're working in a corporate role and the company is not hitting its goals. You and your leaders are fearful of the future outcome. You feel a tremendous amount of stress, pressure to perform and drive results. You take on the responsibility to fix everything because you feel no one else around you is capable and there is no help available. You become prescriptive on everything that must be done. You are holding on so tightly to the steering wheel because you fear losing control. Does this sound familiar to you? Tune in to learn why the best thing to do is to let go of the steering wheel. Hi, I'm Regina C. Minier, ex-corporate pharma leader turned entrepreneur. In 2009, I decided to take a big leap into the unknown and embarked on a journey to following my intuition, or what I now call my inner authentic voice. Through all the lessons learned, I have taken my personal and professional journey and created a simple roadmap to find your true north through the power of your own inner authentic voice. By using these tools and practices, you'll discover fulfillment, joy, and reassurance in making your own life's important decisions. It is no coincidence we have found each other. Hello, 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 friends of O Universe. Welcome back to this week's vlog. Can you believe we are wrapping up quarter one of 2022? I don't know where the time goes. It feels like everything is moving so fast and there are a lot of competing priorities. To help you make important decisions from an abundance mindset, go to o-universe.com forward slash learn to access free resources I have for you. Post pandemic, companies are under so much pressure to perform that they are looking to their teams to perform at a level they have never done in the past. It is new territory to discover, but there is no time to discover, only to do and get results. You may feel like the house is on fire and the future is uncertain, so your reaction is one of fear based. When you allow your thoughts to think of all the bad things that could happen, you feel fear, worry, self-doubt, and anxiety. This reaction does the exact opposite of what you need in this moment. In times of challenge and uncertainty, you need your teams to come together to do their very best work to co-create the solutions you need. The challenge you face is that you have witnessed that people in your organization are not really thinking the new way of thinking that needs to happen when a new challenge is identified with an unknown path forward. You don't trust that your teams are capable and believe that you are the only one that has the best solution. So you take control and hold on for dear life to the steering wheel. But what if you trusted that there are better solutions out there waiting to be heard. What if you slow down to let go of the fear for just a moment to listen to your own inner authentic voice? It might tell you something different. It might tell you that you might be getting in the way of a better plan for the greater good. Here are three key things to remember. First, address your fear. Walk through the worst case scenario. What is the very worst thing that could happen? Imagine what you would do in that scenario. You have a backup plan and know that you would survive the worst case scenario. By doing this, you relieve a little bit of the pressure. It allows you to think and create from your authentic self, the best version of you, which has access to co-creative ideas and solutions. The best ideas are when you are leading your teams from an authentically empowered mindset and not a fearful one. Second, Two minds are better than one when solving for a problem. In order for your teams to come together to collaborate, you must be clear and transparent with what the problem is and what the call to action is. Most individuals will feel a call to duty to pitch in to help their leaders and organizations when you lead from the heart. It is in everyone's best interest for the company to succeed. Empower your teams to help you solve the challenge ahead. The goal is to leverage your teams to engage, collaborate, and co-create solutions, meeting the call to action. 
In order to support this, you need to create an environment that provides the time, space, and resources for your teams to do their best work. The last thing you want to do is instill fear, stress, and pressure by your thoughts and words even if you only share them behind closed doors. The universe hears and knows everything. Your thoughts have energy and set your intention, whether you realize it or not. With practice, you will begin to find your footing, moving forward, acting aligned to the answers you hear from your inner authentic voice. And you will begin to see progress and wins that will reaffirm that you are on the right track. Your trust will build and you can begin to confidently become the authentically empowered leader that will get you to where you want to head. If you are in the middle of trying to figure this all out and you need help supporting your teams, feel free to contact me through o-universe.com for corporate training and coaching. If you found these tips helpful and would like to learn more about finding your true north through the power of your own inner authentic voice, go to my website at o-universe.com forward slash learn to access free tools for you. But until next time, love and light to you all.